Let's continue our deep dive into sketch mode by talking about sketch references. As we saw earlier, we can quickly and easily get into sketch mode by selecting our sketch plane, a flat plane or surface in the model, or a datum plane, and from the mini toolbar, clicking the sketch tool. And when we go into Sketcher, we're going to get some blue dashed lines on the computer screen. Those are our sketch references. In other words, when I sketch geometry, like a rectangle, my sketch is automatically going to be dimensioned with respect to my sketch references. Also, when I'm sketching geometry, this time I'll use my right mouse button to get to the pop-up menu. If I sketch a line, it allows me to snap into those sketch references. So again, Creo Parametric is going to suggest some sketch references to you. Let me get rid of that geometry. If you want to access your sketch references, there is a references button on the dashboard, or you can right mouse click and hold and from the pop-up menu, choose references. And here I see that Creo Parametric has suggested some datum planes for me to use as my sketch references, but I can select other references. For example, maybe I want to select this surface as well. I can go and select this surface too. I can select as many references as I want and then click the solve button. It says that I'm fully placed, but you want to be careful. You don't want to add too many sketch references because all those references will automatically become the parents of your new feature. And so you want to choose your parents carefully because that will end up impacting how stable your feature is later on. And by the way, if you add sketch references and don't actually use them in your sketch, Creo Parametric will automatically remove them from your list of sketch references. Okay, another thing that I want to show, let me clip the model because I'm sketching in the middle of the part. And there is a curved surface over here. And if I were to try to add that to my list of sketch references, you'll notice that Creo Parametric isn't even picking it up because it is curved. If I want to use the intersection of that surface with my sketch plane, I can do that from the sketch references dialog box. And instead of using the regular pick icon, I could use the use cross section and then pick some kind of curved surface. And that gives me the intersection with that curved surface and the sketch plane to use as a sketch reference. Okay, so you can deliberately select your sketch references, but that's actually not necessary. It used to be re recommended that you do that when you first get into sketch mode. I'm going to delete some of these different references in here. You can add to your list of sketch references on the fly. First off, if I sketch some geometry, let me sketch... Let me go back to my sketch orientation. Let's say that I sketch a rectangle again up here, and then I try to dimension it from something that's not in my list of sketch references. Creo Parametric will automatically add that to the list of the sketch references. Let me change from shaded mode to wireframe mode for a second, just so hopefully you can see that there is a blue dashed line there indicating that we do have a sketch reference. And if I go to my references dialog box, you'll see that it added that edge in there. And one thing to note, when you have the ability to select a surface instead of an edge, that's recommended because surfaces tend to be more stable than edges. So for example, let me delete that sketch reference. And when I am dimensioning, I'll pick this and then pick the surface in middle mouse button. And now when I take a look at my sketch references, it's going to the surface instead of the edge. Another thing to note, if you use your alt key, you can add to your list of sketch references as you're working. So for example, let's say that I am trying to sketch a line and I can hold down the Alt key and pick some surface and it adds a sketch reference and then I can lock into that. 
That is available in all versions of Creo Parametric, but actually Creo Parametric 4.0, it became unnecessary because there is an option. If I go to File, Options, and then Sketcher, and scroll down in this dialog box, there is an option, Allow Snapping to Model Geometry. And that makes it very quick and convenient. So again, I don't have a sketch reference over here. Let's say I go to sketch a line. If you just hover your mouse over an entity, you'll notice that it's highlighting. And then if you click on it, that'll allow you to create your reference to that particular entity. Same thing if I go over here, if I want to snap it into this edge, as I move my mouse over it, it highlights, and then I can left click again. And so now I've got the entity snapping into both locations. All right, let me go and delete that. And just want to show a couple other things in the references dialog box. So if you have an entity in here that you don't want to use, you can hit the delete button. Also, you're allowed to replace a reference with another entity that you want to use instead. You can transfer those parent-child relationships. And sometimes you'll see an update button in here. You might see your references have not updated in parentheses next to them. That occasionally happens if you use edit references on a feature to transfer parent-child relationships. Uh, and if you have your references, that are listed here and they say not updated, there'll be an update button that you can click in order to make sure that your sketch is using the latest and greatest information. So that is a deep explanation of using sketch references. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please check out www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are added. Thank you very much.